Hi there, Cancerians. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at January 11 through January 17. And as I told you last week, Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, is out of phase in your one-on-one -on -one relationship zone. Mercury normally goes out of phase three times a year, but this year he is gracing us with four retrograde visits. Now, whenever Mercury goes retrograde, Murphy's law of whatever can go wrong, will go wrong, is in full effect. This is definitely a time when you may feel as if whatever it is you say or do, you seem to do or say the wrong thing. And as soon as you do it, you think to yourself, oh, they're not going to like this. And lo and behold, if you're not right. Now, I want to say to you that you can't please everybody all the time. And sometimes you just have to focus on your happiness, getting through, you know, Mercury retrograde and Jupiter retrograde, like you're trying to get through, is not easy. And with Jupiter, the planet of good luck and good fortune, out of phase in your third house of communication, siblings, neighbors, you could even find yourself having silly squabbles with those people, people that you're close to, especially your siblings. So this is one of those times when you need to be reassessing, rethinking, redoing, rescheduling, realigning, and remaking, and not trying to push forward with anything new. As much as the new year is here, and we've all got our resolutions, and we're fired up and excited, it may just be a time when you know, you got walk, working through the overflow of 2015 is the better idea than trying to advance too strongly into 2016 and ending up making big mistakes. For those of you in a committed, attached relationship, Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign and your seventh house means that you've got to be very careful about keeping the equilibrium going, keeping things at a good pace, because if it's going well, that's great. Now, if it's not going well, Mercury retrograde is not going to fix anything. It's going to make it worse. You've really got to think before you speak. And if you've got any kind of complaint or objection or criticism, I wouldn't uh, say it or express it while Mercury and Ju while Mercury is out of phase. Can you just hold that thought until January 25? You'll be glad you did if you can. That's when Mercury moves direct. And that's when you'll be able to say whatever it is you want to say in a way that is construct constructive criticism versus just good old criticism. No one likes to hear that your hair smells greasy or your feet stink or you haven't taken the garbage out in three weeks, or etc. How about just waiting and seeing if you can say it in a nicer way come the end of January? Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.